Hey, what's up, guys? Ruby here. Welcome back to Pikmin 4. Now, last part, we, uh, we 100%ed the Sun Speckled Terrace and Blossoming Arcadia. Cool. But, uh, in today's episode, we're gonna do some night expeditions. Something I've been waiting to do in this game for, um, for a while. But, um, we're finally gonna do them. So, um, let's talk to Yanni and see what he can do. Well, hello there, new blood. It'll be nice to have a fresh subject around. <laughs> Since we'll be working together, you could just call me Yanni. No sense wasting valuable research time. I need you to go out on some night expeditions for me. I want you to harvest extracts from the luminols that I can use as medicinal ingredients. It's only possible at night. I could go on, but you should see it for yourself. Let me know when you're ready for a nighttime adventure. <laughs> Yeah, but just before we go, uh, yeah, just before we go, I do want to just you know check. Um, I just want to you know check everything, just see if there's anything we can, any like things we might need just before we um, just before we we go. You know, um, I can um, I can get, I can teach Ochi super buff level two. You know, you need to be a strong boy. Eventually heal up the strength of a hundred Pikmin at level three. Damn, why do we need Pikmin at all when we got Ochi to do all the lifting, heavy lifting? <laughs> Ochi's gonna be quite literally carrying. Hey, there you are. Aren't you supposed to be out collecting glow sap? Yeah, yeah, sorry. These areas have been approved for night expedition. So it's back with Terry. Looks like a good place to start exploring, eh? Alright, let me start at Ancient Arches. Is there anything more exciting than heading out into into the dark of night? <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> Sunset's not quite here yet, so you can breathe easy for a little bit. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, we're, um, we're heading out at sunset. Usually we, uh, we're heading out at like the start of the, at, like, the start of the morning or something, but now for um, these uh, night expeditions, it's quite different. Danger level one. If you defeat all the creatures or protect the luminol until morning, you can harvest the glow sap you need to cure leaflings. Alright. Creatures are more active at night. Keep an eye on your night radar display to see if they head in the direction of a luminol. There's no need to move your base during night expeditions. Alright. Here we are. Sun speckled terrace. It should be more be like moon speckled terrace because I'm um, at night, right? <coughs> yeah, you know, so, so, never mind. <laughs> Here we are. There it is, new blood. That is a luminol. When dawn breaks, it will release an extract I'll use to make that medicine. But if the luminol is destroyed, we won't harvest any extract at all. All you need to do is protect the luminol until morning. Simple, right? <laughs> oh, hello. Well, well now. What's this? These other guys weren't here before. Let's observe them and see what they do. You made a friend. Look at that. It propagated more. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, new blood? Hello, Pikmin. Ooh. Yep, those little guys sure look like a new variety of Pikmin to me. They're kind of glowing, so Glow Pikmin seems like an appropriate name. Alright. That was a lot of them. Hello. Hi. <laughs> They're rather fond of you, new blood. That's perfect. You and these little guys can protect the living doll together. No. That's Starship's fragment from earlier. Let's call it a glow pellet. 
Try carrying those to the Luminol to see if we can propagate more yeah. glow pigment. I leave it to you then. Alright. Yeah. Watch for creatures out there, new blood. Yeah. Oh, no, no, OG, no, 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 OG, no. Gather the, glow, gather the glow pigment you need for her. <laughs> it's about that time, new blood. Red eyes, red eyes. See how the creatures become more aggressive at night? They're drawn here by that irresistible glow. Watch out now. They'll come for the luminol, so don't let them break it. Ah, they're heading this way. For now, collect glow pellets and propagate more glow pigment to build up your protective forces. The creatures will keep attacking until dawn, so do your best to take them out. Okay, it's up to you, Ochi and Gruffalo 14. Good luck. can be carried here too. From the looks of it, this could be a juvenile form of a luminol. Ani. If that's the case, then it's possible this could be connected to the luminol below ground. Maybe it could serve as an interim drop point when transporting glow pellets from far away. Patubira. Additionally, it seems like it could act as a decoy for the creatures to keep help keep the luminol safe. It's small, but it shines quite brightly. We call it a truck doll. <laughs> Good thinking. Try using it as a decoy and then tear him drop point. Trick now, new blood. Oh, boy. oh, we finally bloomed a bunch of pigment flowers. Trick now, being attacked. No, oh, right, final go, go, go. Trick now was wiped out. That's the trick now was destroyed. Defeated all those creatures. I wasn't even sure you'd survive the night. Oh, thanks for the 
vote of confidence, Yoni. <laughs> Here it comes. Pay attention, new blood. Green jelly. That is a condensed luminol extract. It's very high in decorative enzymes. I believe we should call it Closa. It's a, it's a critical ingredient for the leafling cure. Gather it with care, new blood. Look, the Golden Pikmin have come to see you off. Do they want to follow you back to the rescue command post? Uh, they turned into seeds. My my, what's this? Glow Pikmin turned into seeds? <laughs> I need to study this up close. Please bring some back with you. Alright then, that was our um, first night expedition. Alright, not too bad. To everyone you've rescued, they might have requests you can fulfill for them in exchange for various rewards. Mm. Already done. Mm. Whenever a new item is developed in the lab, a single prototype will be available. Uh, yeah, we've already, re already read most of these uh, these these tips. It's, where are the castaways? Good question, game. Good question. All right. I have returned. Me and my dog. We have returned. Three just defeated, 25 out of 25. Harvest successful. And we made a pill. What a fruitful harvest. From one glow sap, I can make exactly one cure. <laughs> right. Just one leafling awaiting a cure. And it also gives a, a puff drive for OG. Cool. And we got 10 glow seeds. So, how was your first venture out onto this planet at night? Um... That was kind of fun. <laughs> good, good. What a surprise, though. You met a whole new kind of Pikmin. Before you rescued me, I'd never seen a glow Pikmin myself. I can only assume the Pikmin took a liking to you, new blood. You, you two should get as much help from them as you can. You are helping them protect their luminals, after all. No, I'm not so sure you've got this night expedition thing fully under control just yet. Perhaps I'll go ahead and select the luminals for you to retrieve glow sap from, from until you are. <laughs> Ahem, I'd like to remind you that you are not allowed to overwork my crew. Day 13. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna cure our first leafling. Right, administer the cure at once. Yes, Captain. Hello. You are Professional Spelunker Dash from the home planet Flukui. He's known for saying, you can always find me in the pits. He'll take the leap into any cave, no matter how dangerous it is. All right. Our work doesn't end here. It's our duty to care for and protect anyone we've rescued and hear what they have to say. All right. I'm returning. Uh, no. But, uh, no, but I would like to talk to Kingsley. Wow, thanks a ton. You bloomed a whole lot of Pikmin flowers. They're so beautiful. Thank you. But you can't really be done, right? This world needs more flowers. Keep blooming. You gotta keep blooming. Yeah, so this is kind of a an endless side quest. Where uh, every time you um you bloom three hundred Pikmin, you uh you get rewards from Kingsley. Maybe find the the other guy who's there, the dash guy who's there. Yeah, yeah, G. I wonder. Uh, G. Wonder calling. I don't know whose spaceship that belongs to. I don't know. Hey, where? Are, where is Dash? Where is he? 
Oh, of course he's hanging out. He's hanging out by the cave. Of course he is. Hello. Wow, I've been drawn to caves for most of my life, but I haven't run into danger like this in a long time. My life's quite pr precious to me. Thanks for helping. After all, I can only poke around in caves if I'm alive, right? Oh, I should introduce myself. I'm Dash. I've explored all over the universe, thanks to my family's deep pockets. Alright. The captain warned me that she'd be very angry if I got stranded again, so I can't go explore any caves. Oh hey, I just had the best idea! Starting right now, I'm going to recognize you as my top, well, only pupil. I need you to explore the caves around this planet on my behalf. You don't have to make it through, all, through them all the way to the exits. I see you've already made your way through several caves. I would expect no less from my star pupil. Floor 5 cave. Floor 10 caves. Alright. Your attitude. The way you take on these caves so enthusiastically. It's like when I first discovered the underground world. Floor 15 caves. Alright. Alright then. Well, uh, let's uh, keep going with that expedition. Eager to go out on an expedition, are you? I'm ready when you are. You move. Me, there he is, about to reap a night expedition. Hmm. Now we have the rugged scaffold. The danger level here isn't too high, but that doesn't mean a larger creature won't pop out and surprise you. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Let's do this. Trichnols are linked to luminols by underground stems. If glow pods are transported to either one, the luminol will produce glow pikmin. The farther you stray from a luminol, the harder it will be to protect it. Don't get too distracted while collecting glow pellets. Well, uh, try not to. Build structures during the day to make that conditions easier. Alright. Hello, glow pikmin. How you doing? Hello. <laughs> so there's something else I figured out about the glow Pikmin. Oh yeah, I already know about this. As you can see, glow Pikmin have a very powerful light. You can use, you can use. Hold that X to gather your glow Pikmin until they melt together and form one large glowing ball. Release them all at once and it creates a luminous and literally stunning effect, which I call a, call a glow mob. One flash of that overpowering light, and you will witness all kinds of creatures cowering under its dazzling glow. <laughs> I um, I already know, I already know about that, but I didn't remember what it's called. Oh, hang on, another call. Remember the glow seeds you picked up the other night? I took the liberty of putting them in your pack. Let me show you how to use them. First, select a glow seed from your pack. When you throw it, it will instantly create a glow Pikmin. Of course, they'll only work at night or in caves, so don't forget that. <laughs> okay. Um. Um. Just didn't do this before, but I can get Ochi to uh to guard the uh luminol. That's a sizable creature there. Use a glow mob for extra time. Yeah, I, I, forgot, I have triple threat as well. I, I can throw I can throw hammer monsters. You lost a glow Pikmin, new blood. Yeah, it's very sad. Anyways. The creatures are starting to perk up. You better protect the Lumino. <laughs> Don't take your eyes off the liminal!
Check creatures using your night radar. Yeah, I, I know, oh. Rusty. Yeah. It's at the bottom of your screen. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Morning can come soon enough, can it? Sorry about that, Ochi. You uh, you took you took quite the beating there. But uh, you pulled through, Ochi. You pulled through. You put in the effort out there, new blood. And more glow sap. Very nice. All right then, new blood. Go collect that glow sap. All right. There we go. Another successful night expedition. Cure this leaf leg, the uh, the one with the splatoon eyes. <laughs> there we go. Thirteen more seeds. Good seeds. Right. Good work. <laughs> Looks like you're getting the hang of these night expeditions. I think you're ready. Next time you venture out, you can go wherever you would like to collect. Click, click, what's that? The search for our pilot starts in earnest now, too. Rescue as many leaflings as you can. Let's cure them all. So, about that, let's stop and think for a whole minute here, okay? It's possible Banan hasn't turned into a leafling yet. What do you mean? Oh, I've spent a lot of time thinking about it. Yes, that leafling with the dog is chasing me. And yes, that's when I realized Banan had disappeared. But that's all. What I'm saying is I never actually saw him turn into a leafling or anything. Oh, interesting. And, um... What should we... Look, at the very least, if we catch that leaf fling, we might be able to get a lead on Bernard's whereabouts. Oh. I see. Okay, the search for that leaf fling is your top priority, Gruffler 14. Copy that. Oh. Alright, that concludes this emergency meeting. Let's get to it. Alright. Let's see who this leafling is. Administer that cure, Yanni. 
Hello. Where are you? General Contractor Corgwin from the home planet Moyama. When it comes to work, he's thorough, fast, reckless, and presumptuous. Which also describes his plan to build houses here. <laughs> Under the men here, it's duty to care of everyone we've rescued. Alright. Well, hey. Uh, Corgwin would like to speak with you. Hey, thanks for the sweet rescue. I'm a general contractor over at Moyama Construction. The name's Corgwin. Just like rescuing folks, construction is all about using your imagination and Dandori powers to get the job done. You know? I was thinking you and I could join forces and train for Dandori battles together. Let's get those imaginative juices flowing. Uh, no, I don't want to train with Dandori. Oh, all set for now? Well, see you later. Alright. Um... Oh, 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 gee, no. <laughs> Hey, there you are. I just about to be a cozy glass sad. You say that every time. He's gonna say that every time I try to talk to him. Now we can go to a uh, we can go to Blossoming Arcadia. You want? He's like, go harvest some more glass sap for us. One can never have too much medicine. <laughs> All right, I want to finish up here in Sun Speckled Terrace, so we're going to Meandering Slope, which is a uh, danger level two. Uh, it's getting cha more challenging. Alright. see what we can do. Creatures caught in a glow mob will be rendered temporarily immobile by the brightness. Yeah, sometimes I find that happens to myself if my phone screen is too bright. <laughs> Not that I'm looking at my phone screen at night because I usually have it off by then, but yeah. Over time, gl glow Pikmin will grow leaves, buds, and then flowers. Yeah, that's pretty important stuff. Oh, there we're getting another call. Come in. Come in. Can you hear me, Gryffalo 14? A while back, I taught Ochi a particular skill used for operations that involve protecting a client. Oh, yeah, th th I already, I already knew this. Select the luminal you want Ochi to protect, then give him the command. Ochi will patrol near the luminal and bite any creature that comes close. During a night expedition, if he gets separated from your squad, he'll go to that spot and patrol it for you. Work with him to protect the Luminal. Uh, yeah, I already knew this, Shepard, and I nearly got Ochi killed last night. Uh, yeah. Anyways. Watch for creatures out there, new blood. Okay, watch for creatures. Just, um... Here's up some glow Pikmin. The creatures are getting more active. Go let them destroy the luminal. Hey, right, yeah, the glow pickman can survive the water. The glow pickman are fine. Crush the source, new blood. Otherwise, I'll just keep on coming. Thank you. 
Take that! Got a problem. The Luminol is under attack. If it takes too much damage, we won't get the medicinal ingredients we need from it. Get rid of those creatures, new blood. Oh, okay. Protect the Luminol, new blood. I was- I had so many glow pikmin. Yeah. I'm impressed you defeated all those creatures. What's sure you'd survive the night? Then, yeah, we can- I can just skip this. Honey. I'm angry worth tonight. That's per usual. Okay. More close up. Yay. Now we can make the cure. We can indeed. Alright, Ochi. Let's, um... Let's head back to base. Whenever you encounter a new creature for the first time, it will be registered in the Piclopedia. Alright. I want to visit someone while at the rescue command post. Select their, them via their ID badge to go directly to them. Alright. There we go. The cure. And we'll, uh, sort of this uh, leaf lane, and we and we and we we get more pup drive from this, so uh, that's good. So if we keep collecting leaf lane, get getting leaf lanes, keep doing more night expeditions, you no, know, we'll um we can keep um you know keep getting more pup drive for Ochi, and that'll be good. My observations have led me to an important realization: glow Pikmin cannot die. What? How? What do you mean? Ah. Well, when a glow Pikmin uh, meets its demise, it turns into photons and returns to the luminol. Or so it seems. Yeah. Are they really Pikmin then? Good question, Colin. Good question. Colin's, uh, Col Colin's here, out here asking the real questions. <laughs> Space Explorer Jin from the home planet Lukui. He's always in search of the next uncharted planet to explore, as well as someone who wants to hear tales of his past adventures. Cool. Now, uh, uh, Ranger Sim Jin is asking for you. Hello. You are the one who saved me. Thank you. I will never forget your kindness. My name is Jin. No, not the type, not the genie. Anyway. I am an adventurer wandering the universe in search of uncharted lands. Adventurers never skip their training. You can do most anything as long as you can rely on your physical self. Which brings me to another important aspect of Dandori Challenge training. Meditation. Why don't you give it a try? Now, come by whenever you want to meditate. You are always welcome. I don't wanna. I don't wanna do it. I don't wanna meditate, Mom. <laughs> 
for your spa. Prove your abilities just a little each day. In time, it'll add up and you'll be stunned by what the two of you are capable of. <laughs> Alright. What can I teach Ochi? Um... I want to teach him Rush, or do I want to teach him Doggy Pad level two? Because um, we are going to be we are going to be um, we are going to be going to Serene Shores in uh in the next part, in yeah, the next part. So I, I kind of want to get this just to uh just so we can start off with it. But uh, yeah, I, I, I'll teach Ochi it. it. It's not gonna. I don't think it it won't be like super helpful currently right now. But um, it's definitely gonna be. Very helpful in the uh, in the long run. We are sorting out these leaflings real quick. You get to go out on the next expedition, are you? I'm ready when you are. Hey, they just had something different this time. Nice. All right, blossoming Arcadia. Close up. There's still some here. Get on out there and harvest it for us. All right. There we have fragrant ravine, fragrant ravine, sun-washed plateau, and misshapen pond. Isn't that just something so thrilling about going out at night? I wish I could go with you. Alright. Well, um... I think we'll do, I think we'll do this one. We'll do, uh, we'll do this, uh, night expedition, and then I think I'll... I might call it, might call it an episode. Or, or, well, I mean, I mean it depends on how, I, how, long, how long I want to keep going. Even if your glow Pikmin perish, they won't be included in the number of lost Pikmin. That's good to know. Nice to know the uh, glow Pikmin can never truly die. <laughs> uh, maybe until the heat death of the universe, but who knows, right? Who knows, am I right? Here we are, new area. <laughs> About the glow pigment, you'll need more. <laughs> no, OG, no. No, bad OG, no. Stop it. You go protect the blue and all for me, will ya? Getting more active. Oh, oh my god! Watch it! I forgot, I forgot about the leaf! I forgot about the leaf! Oh god, oh that's a fun game. There. I gotta, I gotta help Ochi deal with these leaves. Though, so, uh, Ochi actually seems to be, um, uh, handling himself in the front. Oh, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Uh, 
And maybe wanna help or maybe wanna help those with the slightly bigger ones, like this guy over here. So we, got, we got a whole conga line here. Who wants to go? One at a one at a time, folks. One at a time. be impressed I managed to, to beat all those creatures. <laughs> Grandpa 14! Ouchie! You did it! Thanks, Shepard. Thank you. Alright. More glow sap. We can use more leaflings we can cure. Yee. You can equip and unequip gear from yourself and Ochi using the tablet's gear and skills app. Dandori is the art of organizing your tasks strategically and working efficiently to execute your plans. Try to practice it in everyday life. Thanks. I won't. <laughs> and continue to be bad and then question why I'm so bad at Dandori. Because I never practiced. <laughs> Alright. 20 creatures defeated. Alright. Oh, we're gonna cure uh, Sonic the Hedgehog now. All right. And more glow seeds. Nice. If the next leafling we cure isn't Bernard, what are we going to do? I told you, just focus on finding the leafling with the dog. But we're the rescue corps. We can't leave anyone behind. Well, no, we can keep harvesting glow sap, can't we? And look on the bright side. The leafling I heal tomorrow might be Bernard. That's true! Bruna. I'll have the medicine ready by morning. Until then, enjoy the suspense! <laughs> Alright. Well, we shall see if, um... See if this uh, next leafling is Bernard or not. Hello, Ochi. How you doing? Pretty good. Nice to know. Alright then, administer the cure. Yes, Captain. We shall administer the cure. Cure Sonic the Hedgehog. And it's not Sonic the Hedgehog. Or Bernard. It is Research Task Force Lead Chet from the home planet Mihama. The leader of a, di of a diverse research task force. It may seem like he doesn't work at all, but he's the glue that keeps the team together. Alright. Hey, bring him a pup drive, Ochi. You can drink with me anytime. Alright. So I'll talk to this guy. Hello, sir. You do? Hey. I just want to apologize. I can't really do much for you under these, well, difficult circumstances. I'm acting as the leader of a research task force, though its members are all so skilled they hardly need me. What I meant is, I'm technically the leader, but the others are the stars of the operation. They make my job easy. Now you want me to find your team for you? Hey, is it okay if I ask a little favor of you? From what I can see, not all of the task force members have been found. I know you're very busy, believe me. But I'd appreciate it if you could also find and rescue my missing team members. If there's anyone who could do this, it's you. Rescue the researchers. We're already, a, we're already a third of the way there, so... We're, uh, we're looking good. Alright, well, um... I think maybe we could do, um... I think we could maybe do one more night expedition. And, uh... See how we do. Alright. Let's go to the sun-washed plateau. 
You never know what night expeditions will have in store for you. Make sure you're ready before heading out, new blood. Uh, yeah, I I'd say I'm okay. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I'm thinking after I've done this night expedition, I can, um, I can go give Ochi, um, I can upgrade Ochi and give him Rush level 3. That'll help him one-shot more creatures, so, um, yeah. When Glow Pikmin finish their current task, they'll return to your squad. For every five Glow Pikmin that propagate during night expeditions, you will get one Glow Seed to take back with you. Nice. Protect the luminol, like I asked you to. Why are you not doing that? What? Where's the, uh, that's a beagle. I don't know why we're parked up here. Uh, that's probably where the, the base is, or the base is. Their tongue got loaded off. Hey, what are you, a weirdo? It works, right? Impressive to be all those creatures. Was sure you'd survive the night. What is this, Five Nights at Freddy's or something? Oh, actually, what you know, I just realized we did do Five Nights in the uh, in this episode. Like, technically, call this like Five Nights at Pikmin or something. Uh, that's uh, that's that's good. That's gonna be the name of this episode. That's what I'm naming this episode. If that's final. <laughs> You can replay clear Dandori battles and Dandori challenges as many times as you like at the Rescue Command post. 
Right. Hello, everyone. I have returned. Eighteen creatures defeated. I rescue this uh, starry-eyed. Uh, Sorry, I leave for And I've also kind of noticed uh, with the uh, with the leaflings, so, um, depending on what color they are, it uh, depends on the person's hair color. So that's um, interesting. What an incredible discovery! Glow Pikmin, even when touched by fire or electricity, are fine, completely unharmed. Well, that sounds downright useful. Oh, that's not all. <laughs> Neither water nor poison bother them at the least bit either. That's it! We must train ourselves to be as strong as Glow Pikmin. If they can do it, we can too, right? I'm pretty sure there's no amount of training that will make us impervious to fire. <laughs> uh, I love Colin, man. I love him. Hi, OG. Alright, uh, let's cure this last, um, this last leafling. Um, whether this will be Bernard or not, um, we're only gonna find out in three, two, one. What do you know? It's, um, it's not Bernard. Unemployed. <laughs> Patch. Uh, Lukui as well. A true gambler who revels in the game of life and leaves it all up to fate. He came to this planet with high hopes and high stakes. Ah, I see. So he's in debt. Alright. So, uh, where is, where is this, uh, where's, uh, Mr. Broke over here? Hello, Mr. Broke. How you doing? I see! You're the one who saved me. Well, that means I still survived, so I won the battle between myself and this planet after all. I did get a little help from you, but it's not like it that matters in a survival challenge where anything goes. There's an ongoing battle happening between you and this planet. A long-haul fight can make it hard to stay focused, but simplify and settle things once and for all. Hmm. How about this? You win if you defeat more than a hundred creatures is indigenous to this planet. What's the meaning of such a challenge? There is no meaning. Someone challenges only have significance if they're meaningless. It's obvious that you possess great skill and are remarkably efficient. Defeat 100 creatures. Defeat 300 creatures. It's not a lot, but please accept those. I suppose you could call it a small reward. Defeat a thousand creatures. Ooh boy. Well, uh, we're probably gonna be here for a while. But, uh, yeah, there we go. Those were, um, that was the night expeditions. Those were, um, pretty fun. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like down below, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you don't miss an upload made by me. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.